Welcome to True Lies Scandals. Narcissism is a real thing, a real life trap. And Jeremy Clarkson walked right into it. If you've ever dealt with a narcissist in a personal or professional relationship, I believe you have a very good idea of how toxic the relationship can get. I've always maintained that you should never, on no uncertain terms, apologize to a narcissist. Did Jeremy Clarkson made that grave mistake and is paying the price for it? Did he do the right thing by apologizing to Harry and Meghan? Stay tuned for the details on how Harry and Meghan responded to Clarkson's apology, an apology they themselves wanted. I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you like the content. Your subscription is free. Hit the bell icon to stay in the know. Check out my other videos, links to Twitter, Facebook, and PayPal. Donations are accepted if you feel moved to support this channel. Thank you. Now for the juicy stuff. Jeremy Clarkson issued a statement yesterday saying he emailed Harry and Meghan on Christmas Day to say he was profoundly sorry for the column he wrote about Meghan Markle in the Sun newspaper. The columnist accepted that his language had been quote unquote disgraceful. Make that vile language towards Meghan Jeremy Clarkson. That article should not have been published in the first place. It should not have been written in the first place. Who's Jeremy Clarkson anyway? Clarkson is an English broadcaster and columnist who writes for the Sunday Times and the Sun newspapers. Now for the backstory. Last month, Clarkson was accused of expressing hate for Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, in a piece published in the Sun after he wrote that he hated Meghan on a cellular level, even more than he hated a serial killer known as Rose West. Here's another portion of the damning statements made by Clarkson. At night, I'm unable to sleep as I lie there grinding my teeth and dreaming of the day when she's made to parade naked throughout the streets of every town in Britain while the crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. Oh, disgusting, just totally disgusting. Clarkson re referenced a scene from Game of Thrones and later claimed that what he wrote wasn't intended to be taken literally. Like I said, he should not have even contemplated, much less written that article because of who he is too. He is a renowned British broadca uh, broadcaster and journalist, journalist, and also he has affiliations with ITV and Amazon. This is not just an ordinary person just writing any old thing. So he should have been conscious about his position and how that would affect his reputation. Obviously, he, you know, he wrote the article in haste and he thought he might have gotten away with it. But he didn't. I do not support the article he wrote. I don't. Okay? He was totally wrong to write an article using such terms towards Meghan Markle. Even if it was any other woman. It's not because it's the Duchess of Sussex. It's because of how he described another woman. First, First Minister of Scotland... Nicola Sturgeon said Clarkson's statements were quote unquote deeply misogynist and just downright awful and horrible. The mayor of London, Sidi Khan, had this to say As Jeremy Clarkson should well know, words have consequences. The words in his piece are no joke, they're dangerous and inexcusable. We are in an epidemic of violence against women and girls. And men with powerful voices must do better than this. Damn right, he should. The Sun, the Sun eventually took down the article after a backlash from social media and thousands of complaints. I'm, uh, I read, I think there were 25, more than 25,000 complaints made 
concerning the article. In fact, social media went rogue on Clarkson. Mass public outcry led to the Sun removing the article. There were also calls for him to be sacked by ITV and Amazon, the two companies, two of the companies that he's affiliated with. Clarkson's article was released during the, the release of the Harry and Meghan Netflix docuseries in which the couple revealed their struggles with intrusion by the British press. Harry also accused the royal family of refusing to give Meghan the security protection she needed while in the UK solely because of her race. This led to a lot of people turning their backs on the couple for calling the royal family racists. Fast forward to 2023. Jeremy Clarkson revealed that he issued an apology, an official apology to Harry and Meghan on Christmas Day. However, it didn't go down the way he expected. According to People magazine, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry slammed Jeremy Clarkson's public apology for the offensive article. A spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex issued a statement which pointed out that Clarkson addressed his apology solely to Prince Harry. So, you know, the couple isn't having it. I figure Meghan feel the apology should be directed to her. Yes, that is the right thing to do. But this spokesperson is saying that Clarkson wrote to Harry, maybe made the apology directly to Harry and not to Meghan. And so they don't think that that's sufficient. The spokesperson said that while a public apology has been issued today by Mr. Clarkson, what remains to be addressed is his long-standing pattern of writing articles that spread hate rhetoric, dangerous conspiracy theories, and misogyny. Unless each of his other pieces were also written in a hurry, as he states, it is clear that this is not an isolated incident shared in haste, but rather a series of articles shared in hate. In my opinion, Clarkson was right and wrong to apologize. Please hear me out. Apologizing was the right thing to do, even though I feel this apology should have happened immediately after he released the offensive, immediately after he realized how offensive his statements were about Megan. He did issue a statement on Twitter, I think a few days after the article was published, expressing regret. He wrote, Oh dear, I've rather put my foot in it. In a column I wrote about Meghan, I made a clumsy reference to a scene in Game of Thrones, and this has gone down badly with great, with a great many people. I'm horrified to have caused so much hurt, and I shall be more careful in the future. However, those who defend the Sussexes and are against misogyny felt the journalists stopped short of making a proper apology. The broadcaster finally made an apology on Christmas Day, which was outrightly rejected by Harry and Meghan, according to their spokesperson. Royal commentators say apologizing is the right thing to do, but that when it came to Harry and Meghan, Clarkson shouldn't have. According to them, nothing is ever enough for Harry and Meghan. Why would they say this? Well, here's the bigger picture. Harry is believed to be controlled and dominated by Meghan. Meghan has been branded as a malignant narcissist by psychiatrist Dr. Carol Lieberman, political journalist Joanna Weiss, and narcissism author and expert H.G. Tudor. People with narcissistic personality disorder or narcissistic traits create toxic and dysfunctional relationships, hands down. I've never met a person who has been in a relationship with a narcissist and walked away unscathed. Not only that, if you don't know anything else about narcissists, learn this. They are impossible to please, impossible to please. Other traits that make them extremely difficult to deal with are their high sense of entitlement, constant need for attention and admiration, jealousy, envy, they tell a lot of lies, 
Some of them are pathological liar, liars, and they are also manipulative and exploitative. A malignant or sociopathic narcissist will stop at nothing to take revenge. Ironically, narcissists are not known to be people who apologize to you solely because they truly believe they did nothing wrong. Everyone else is always to blame for everything, even for their own actions. That's a narcissist. However, they will run you down for an apology for any and every perceived slights and wrongs, even those that are unintentional. Speaking of perceived slights, narcissists are sensitive to criticisms. And as we have seen, Meghan Markle has a big problem with being called out. There are people who notice when she does or says something that maybe say it's inappropriate or they realize that there are some discrepancies. Maybe she's not telling the truth. Her story keeps changing. Her narratives keep changing and people call her out for that. She believes she's such a princess that everyone should, I guess, just bow to her. Don't call her out. Take her as she is. She dislikes criticism and jumps to defend her actions to ensure the world always see, always has a positive view of her. Like narcissists, many narcissists are. They are all about their reputation, their public reputation, okay? They have to have this... They, they want to make everyone believe that they're perfect. And anything that could jeopardize public perception of who they really are, when the, especially when the narcissist mask, mask uh, slips, can be devastating for them. So they're always on the... Offense, sometimes on the defense, right? Harry will stop at nothing though to ensure you and I and everyone else see his wife as a perfect princess. As he has said, what Megan wants, Megan gets. I don't have a problem with a man defending his wife. I would be happy for my husband to defend me, but I have greater respect for a man who can tell his wife when she's acted out of order. I love it when people say, hey, you stepped out of line. You shouldn't have done that. I tell my friends all the time. I tell the people I love, don't let me get away with things you think is inappropriate. Just tell me because I want to, I want to fix a behavior that's toxic. If there's, you know, if they believe that's what it is, I want to be better for the people in my close circle. So let me know when I step out of line, call me out. So that's love. I feel like and we can do that to other people that we're in relationships with. If we feel, if we say we truly love someone, we don't let them go down the wrong road. We don't let them put themselves in harm's way and don't try to pull them back or call them out and say, hey, you shouldn't have done that, okay? That's what true love is all about. So, however, yes, helping your partner correct their poor behavior is important. But does Megan do this for Harry or does she just let him do whatever he wants and he really and truly isn't really getting what seems to be not good good advice people are asking who advised him who advises him who agreed that he should put all of these damning revelations in his book spare and talked about talking about all these different things that may not be so relevant like him having a frostbitten penis like, how is that relevant? But I digressed. I say all this to say, talking about narcissism, I say to say that Megan has demonstrated a personality that shows she always wants to be in control of the narrative as narcissists do. They can't stand to be called out or criticized. And when you do apologize, get this, they throw it back in your face. It's never enough. They'll accuse you of making an insincere apology tell you you took too long to apologize or that you didn't use the right words or the right tone or the right facial expression. Are you kidding me? Believe me, I'm not making this up. The Sun newspaper apologized already to Meghan and Harry and removed Clarkson's article in December. However, Meghan said the Sun apology was quote unquote, nothing more than a PR stunt. Wait, there's more. 
Marco continues with this, quote unquote, a true apology would be a shift in their coverage and ethical standards for all, meaning that the Sun article should, should do this. And that would amount to a true apology for Megan. Give it up, guys. You can't ever win with narcissists. They want your head on a platter. The best thing to do with narcissists is not to deal with them in the first place. So you'll never have to offend or apologize to them. Experts and those close to King Charles are also urging him not to apologize to Harry and Meghan, who are demanding an apology from the royal family for uh, allegations of abuse within the family and racism. Harry has uh, alleged that his family abused Meghan while she was in the UK and they were racist towards her. British broadcaster and former leader of the UK Independence Party, Nigel Farage, believes the Sussex's dismissal of Clarkson's apology should be taken as a lesson. He urges the king not to cower to their demands for an apology or for reconciliation. Here's what he said. King Charles, do not parley for peace with these people. Do not even consider bringing them to the coronation, allowing them in. They want you finished. No apologies will ever do. These are not reasonable human beings. That's all for now. I welcome your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe today. It's free. Check out my other videos. Like, share, follow me on social media. See you next time on True Lies Scandals.